Right, good morning. Welcome to um, Park Owners Boat Sales. My name is Jonathan Parker, and today I'm going to show you how to bleed a Volvo Penta CAD 43 um, engine um, or fuel. So, um, if you want to pan round, thank you, Andrew. Um, so, what we'll see here, this is the fuel lift pump. So, the engine camshaft will pump this when the engine's running. Um, but when it's not running and we want to bleed the engine, the idea is we bleed the air out of the system. Um, and um, to do this, you can see that you've got the fuel feed line coming from a tank of fuel, goes up into the lift pump, um, and then it goes up into this fuel filter, um, and then goes down to the high pressure fuel pump. Now you can see this is higher than the other parts of the fuel system. So on the top here is a bleed screw, because air will always try to get to the top of the system, because air is lighter than fuel. Um, so what we have to do, we have to pump the air out via this bleed screw. And the way we do that is we simply loosen it, The bleed screw, um, any bleed screw, will either have a hole in it, a groove down the side of the threads. I'm going to take it all the way out, even though you don't need to, just to show you the groove. So we can see the groove in it there. And that's where the fuel will pass the threads. Um, we'll pop it back in, just to be careful not to lose the washer. And then so we'll screw it out to about there just so when that little hole appears and then rather than use the camshaft of the engine to pump the fuel up there's a little lever on the side and as you can see it's quite loose um, I'm hardly putting any pressure so that isn't actually pumping the only bit that pumps is that last bit so when you feel the pressure that's the only part that's actually pumping the fuel right we'll just get the return line back in and we'll just start pumping and all we're doing is we're just pumping the fuel up from the fuel can. You can see not a lot happening at the moment. because I've just changed this fuel filter, so this has to fill up with fuel and then eventually it will come out of there. So we're waiting for fuel to squirt out of there. If you listen carefully, you can hear the air coming out. You can see the bubbles. So we're waiting for it to leak, and as soon as we get a good flow, we can wind it in, give it a wipe off, get it in finger tight, give it another pump just to get the last bit of air out. You can see it's still coming out, just get the last bit of air out. That'll about do it, and then do it up with your 10 mil spanner and literally no, over tighten it, it's made of soft metal so if you over tighten it you can damage the threads once you've given it a wipe off get it as dry as you can and then re-pump this as hard as you can And what we're doing, we're now checking for any leaks from when we pump it in, and there isn't any. Simple as that, it's now bled. Thank you very much.